says the USS Fitzgerald reached its naval base in Japan. This after the U.S. Navy destroyer collided with a tanker off the coast of Japan. Seven American sailors are missing right now, and five were hurt in the accident, including the ship's commanding officer. Helicopters flew in to take them to hospitals as the USS Fitzgerald took on water. The Navy SEAL says it's still looking into the extent of injuries of other sailors who were on the ship. A first for President Trump this weekend. He is celebrating Father's Day at Camp David, marking his first trip to the presidential retreat. As President Trump spends the weekend with family, there is building tension between Justice Department officials. Sources tell ABC News Deputy Attorney General Ron Rosenstein may recuse himself from the investigation. He took charge after Attorney General Sessions took the same action back in March. Many officials are also held up on this tweet from the president, his first time acknowledging that he is under investigation. The White House says the president was just referring, though, to a Washington Post report. And the Office of Government Ethics released the president's most recent financial disclosure. It shows that he carries at least $315 million in liabilities, and that includes debt on Trump Tower here in Chicago. And the president also shared details on his new Cuba policy, which tightens restrictions on travel and commercial ties, and also reverses parts of an Obama administration policy. Fall adult firefighter Lawrence Matthews Jr. will be laid to rest today. Last night, hundreds of firefighters lined up outside a funeral home in Country Club Hills to pay tribute to Matthews at his visitation. 35-year-old Matthews died last weekend after he suffered cardiac arrest while responding to a fire in Harvey. Well, using music to help your Chicago's issue.